I, I read something the other day, I think in uh, the Washington Post, that the black church is no longer the cultural influence that it once was in days gone by uh, for the election for younger black people. Uh, what do you say or think that the black church needs to do to to level that? So we begin with where things started to fall apart. We have a generation that has access to more information instantaneously than any generation that's preceded it. Yes. We also have a generation that has faced more trauma, turmoil, and constant threat than previous generations, let's say post-Reconstruction, because you can never do a comparative right. uh, to to slavery. But in this moment, these are young people who not only know what's happening, they know what's happening for everyone else. They know where it's happening and they know who is doing it. And they were told that when we achieved the outcomes of the Voting Rights Act, of the Civil Rights Act, that things should be better. They have not seen in their recent experience the kind of seismic shifts that you and I understand. Yes. I remember what happened, but I also grew up with parents who were in the struggle and with grandparents. My grandfather, who I, I did not know, but my grandfather was born 25 years after the end of slavery. So my understanding of the connective tissue of history is different. Yes. But if you are a 22-year-old who has seen school shootings, natural disasters that are extreme and seem constant, you have seen the demise of democracy at the hands of a man who b built his legacy on castigating and denigrating your community. You have seen for the first generation since Reconstruction, your civil rights actually be stolen if you're a woman. Yes. There's a reason for doubt. And so into that space where the black church can enter is to not chastise you for not being there but give you a reason to come back. 